Uh, right, we are back from Philadelphia. We are back from the WrestleMania weekend. Oh my word, what a time I had. But we're getting back to it. We're looking at our predictions and seeing how well we actually did. But before we get into that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Time for a relaxing, sponsored daydream. Are you tired of having no coins and coming up against teams that are absolutely cracked and better than yours? We'll go over to U7 Buy, whose coins are cheap, fast, and reliable. You can use the link in the description and make sure you use the code DEVS for a 6% off. First up, we had Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch for the Women's World Title. And this is what I had to say. I think this is going to be a clean match. One of the only clean matches of the night, I think. I think Rhea Ripley's going to win clean. No involvement with the judgment from Judgment Day or Dominic Mysterio. I mean, I, I mean... I got it right, to be fair. Rhea Ripley to defeat Becky Lynch. No shenanigans. Nice and straightforward. Easy dubs for Rhea Ripley. Next up, we had the six-man tag ladder match. Let's try and remember who we, who we had in it. We had, we had the Judgment Day. We had New Day. We had New Catch Republic. We had A-Town Down Under. We had Awesome Truth. And we had DIY. Now, this is what I had to say. A summary of what I had to say. Awesome Truth to win the Raw Tag Team titles. And New Catch Republic to win the SmackDown titles. Judgment Day rid of all tag team titles so to be fair i got half of it right awesome truth one a town down under they were the other winners over for the smackdown brand um one and a half for two right now next up we have the tag team match of rey mysterio and andrade versus santos escobar and dominic mysterio i think dom's gonna pin rey mysterio i think carlito might turn heel on rey mysterio yeah that one worked great i kind of got everything wrong really i the ending result was Rey mysterio pinning santos escobar and so obviously Rey mysterio and andrade won we didn't see carlito turn on anyone but we also saw jason kelsey that was incredible. I don't know who Jason Kelsey is. He is a former NFL superstar who played for the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, by the way, do you like this little WrestleMania jersey I got? I, I absolutely love it. I can't lie. This is the only like wearable thing that I bought. WrestleMania 40. I was there, baby. I was there. Woo! Next up, we have Yeet versus No Yeet. This is what I had to say. I'm going to go with Jay winning, though. And the main part here, either Rikishi's going to come back and try and separate them, uh, and then they're both going to kick him, and they're going to carry on fighting. Unlikely to happen. The other thing that I think might happen, Solo's going to get involved, try to kick Jay in the face, ends up kicking Jimmy, and like, oh my god, can't believe what's just happened. And yeah, Jay's going to end up winning. Jay won, Simplaz. Next up we had Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, and Naomi versus Damage Control. And it's all just going to, I think it's all just kind of setting up for a Jade Cargill hot tag. She's going to be trying to get in the match the whole time. And finally, bang, tagged in. She couldn't even pin all three members of Damage Control. I wasn't wrong. Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, Naomi, they got the win against damage control and i was right with cargill being the one to pin one of the damage control members which again i'll take another win then we had Sami Zayn versus gunta long story short gunther retains sheamus comes back at wrestlemania after this match and just kicks gunther in the head yeah not great uh i did say gunter was gonna win this Sami Zayn won i mean it was a very very good match i didn't want Sami Zayn to win i do like him i like him a lot but i think i just thought chad gable would have been the one to take the title off gunter i just feel like they're building up to it then we had roman reigns and the final boss versus cody rhodes and seth rollins this <laughs> incredible match this is what i had to say the rock pinning Rollins, maybe? I don't think Reigns... Reigns can't get pinned. Cody can't get pinned. I got the result right, which I'm happy about, but I didn't get the pinning right. I, I said Rock was going to pin Rollins, but I did say Rhodes can't get pinned, but it... it, it, it it built up. It did. It built it up. It was. It was a very good way of doing it. To be fair, and it's going to kind of like follow on. I think what the story is going to be because the story is going to be I pinned you uh, the night before, pretty much. But that is another one on the tally of me getting right. So so far, Saturday night, I got five and a half out of seven correct. That is not bad going at all. Moving on to Sunday, we had Seth. Freaking Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. This is what I had to say. I think I think Drew McIntyre is going to win. I think this might be the opening match to be fair. So I should have put this first. But I think Drew McIntyre is going to win. He's going to be the new world heavyweight champion. Maybe a potential tease for a cash-in from Damian Priest. I don't think he will be. I was correct. Drew McIntyre beat Seth Rollins for the world heavyweight championship. So that's another one to add on to the tally. But what happened after... I didn't predict at all. I did. I did. I even said I don't think there's going to be a cash in. Oh my god, how wrong was I? It was in what a moment. I, I witnessed a money in the bank cash in. The pride versus a final testament 
Philadelphia Street Fight match. Originally, I said the Pride would win, but then I, my, I changed my mind. I went with a Final Testament winning, kind of saying strong as like a little, a little faction because they haven't really had much to do. But, but in the end, they lost. Good match this one. L A Knight, yeah, versus A J Styles. Long story short, I said L A Knight was going to win. He needed it more than A J Styles. A J Styles has got the accolades behind him. L A Knight doesn't, and he won. So that's another one to add to the tally. Oh, what a match this was! A triple threat: Logan Paul, the United States Champion, versus Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. Good match. Nice, straightforward match. There was shenanigans from Logan Paul, of course, with the brass knuckles and that. I said Logan Paul was going to get the W. I was correct. Fair. I think it was quite an easy one to get. Io Sky versus Bailey. Nice, easy one to predict for me as well. I, I said Bailey was going to win this. And now, the main event. Roman Reigns, your tribal chief, versus Cody Rhodes. The number two at this point. The one that is trying to get to the top of the mountain because his daddy couldn't get there, unfortunately. Bloodline rules. Everyone's going to get involved, I think. All the bloodline, obviously. The Rock included. You're going to have Jay coming. I don't know if you're going to have Seth come in. If you do, he might even. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know, actually. I think Seth might come. Hopefully, we see Stone Cold and John Cena. That'll be incredible. Cody Rhodes gets the W. Cody Rhodes got the W. Let's go, baby. That's another one on the tally. John Cena came out. Austin didn't, unfortunately. You had Solo. You had Jimmy. You had Jay come out. Undertaker was never going to be something that I guessed. So, I ended up getting 9.5 out of 13 correct. What's... A percentage for me. If you want to see more WWE content, make sure you let me know down in the comments because I need feedback on it because it's something I'm really seriously thinking about doing. Either doing it on this channel, maybe even starting a new one, but I need to know down in the comments below. I hope you did like this video and make sure you have a good day, a great week, and I'll catch you in a bizzle.